Here we are with part one of the McMichael TT4. In other words, Television Table 4. I don't know whether it was a TT1, 2 and 3 or a 5, but I never saw one. And if you listen to some of my, watch some of my other videos, I was talking about how I ended up as a 10 year old uh, having bought some random service sheets and the service sheet for, them, for this was amongst that offering which I'd had. And I've wanted one ever since. So I've wanted one of these since I was 10 and a half. I'm now 60. So I finally got one and it's, uh, I can't show you the top very easily unless I lift the camcorder right up and show you the awful top. At the end of the day, as an organ builder, I think all the woodwork will be no problem at all. The top takes off and we'll be looking at the innards, taking the innards out and shoving the innards in the dishwasher. Which if you, some of them see some of the other valve things that I do or CB base stations, I love putting things in the dishwasher. Now I hate series strung um, things like this and this is no exception, there's the circuit diagram. This is out of the radio and television servicing book for 1950. Six, I think it is, and it's a medium long wave radio, which is unfortunately series strung, and as you can see, has a half wave rectifier up there, and it is series. You can see it's series strung. The light bulb for the dial light is 0 0.15, no 0 0.11, so it's it's part of the heater chain, and then you've got a dropper resistor there, and then pretty conventional electronics. So we're going to take all this out. We're not going to be powering it up because uh, I don't want to damage it. So. Out it comes, and let's have a look inside. So we've got the lid off it in this case. It's the lid you take off, and you will see it's absolutely full of nicotine. I've no doubt the person passed away, and no doubt with fag uh, illness. So the speaker's underneath, and the chassis is upside down in this type of product. So I'll just zoom in on that for you. So you've got all these nasty wax capacitors which have got to come out, and so your valves are going to be accessed from the other side with the cover off. So you've got a, a cover underneath which readily removes to do the valves. And I've just got myself dirty, just, yeah, it's horrible. So what we're gonna do is get a screwdriver to it and we're gonna get that chassis out and shoved in the dishwasher. Right, so back with this and we've had Henry the vacuum cleaner and a brush and sucked a lot of the nicotine dust out of it, released the four BA nuts and hopefully the chassis will, or something, will pull away. Hmm. Right. Well, Mr. 21, uh, no, it's not pulling out yet. Okay, so we've finally got the chassis out. Turns out you take the inspection cover off and you take two of the uh, bolts out from underneath. But you live and learn. And the tuning uh, drives failed, not surprising. So apart from the nicotine, it's, it's, all, it's complete. So uh, we'll get it in the dishwasher. So we've had the chassis through the dishwasher, we've put it in an air conditioned room on top of an electric heater on a suitable uh, wire cage so we're not covering the radiator and we're about to make a start <coughs> and Mr Chip is about to start coughing himself yeah, to death. So uh, he's been cleaning these with his uh, little toothbrush and as you can see the first three on the right, we don't put valves through the dishwasher because the numbers would come off and the transfers would come off. So he's doing that carefully. Would you like to do one for, on camera? Yeah. Right, so we use this stuff. Oh, I'll just move the carriers to service. I'll, we seem to buy lots of service off products, don't we? So, don't know whether you're in frame there. We are. Give it a good spray. Just wait a couple of seconds just for it to uh, activate. In the meantime, through the... Yeah, I'll, I'll just show, show <laughs> this, we've done the knobs, so they've been in the Dutch dishwasher, they've been in the ultrasonic cleaner where we clean the records, and then Mr Chippy's finished them off with this technique. take two or three goes before they come up clean enough. So this video is going to have to be in several parts because th one of the snags with this is I've got to do the cabinet work and I will actually do that in the uh, in the church organ workshop tomorrow 
so it's going to get sanded down and refrench polished. I want this quickly doing because uh, it's taking time out of our uh, organ work. And you still got the number on that? Yes. Yeah. That doesn't come off yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> So it's interesting how different makers use different valves. A lot, you know, obviously lots of people use the uh, Mullard valves, but in this case, McMichael are using Osram valves. And look at when you look at Murphy products, you find they, that's a lovely difference, isn't it? Yeah. Um, they use Mazda valves and so on. So we'll leave it at that, and then I'll show you the chassis. Right, folks. So there's the chassis. We'll come to that in a second. There's the RS delivery. Mr. Chippy, you may open the RS delivery. Those two capacitors are ones which we stock. These boxes are ridiculous because they're not reusable. So RS and their thing to go green have done the opposite. Right, so what have we got? Just a couple of capacitors. Well, well, they, they, yeah. Picks. So. And these, put, these usually have drill bits in them. These cases. Yeah. But they put two capacitors in them. That's a. You know, no wonder at the price those things are. <laughs> Is that all we've got? Four. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it'll be all back ordered and arrive in a year's time. You know, we're, we're trying to get this job done. Anyway. Um, what have you I just got to look at the. I know one of them is to follow on the 1st of December. There's just two left to come. Yeah. Well, it's not too scary. Expected 28th. So, a couple of days. Yeah. So, uh, it, it isn't going to get done over the weekend or anything. So, we want this with you. So, I don't like things which are ACDC like this. It's common in America, but it's not common here. Um, some people might like them, but so you've got a mains dropper and a, and a series heater's chain. So instead of having a mains transformer, each of these valves is in series with each other. So it produces a 100 milliamp heater chain. Then you've got a rectifier valve, two smoothing capacitors, and off it goes to the rest of the radio. So we've got to look in there at the ones which we hate and straight away that'll be one we hate. Have you got some glasses there that I can borrow while we record this? Thank you. So I can tell you which one to remove. So straight away there is three 0.01s rated to 1000 volts. So that's where we start. So if you can see any of those which say, well, we've only got two, but I mean, I've ordered the right quantity, so. It was 4.01s. Oh, that's all right, it was packs of two. So that's all with the centers, mm. cheeky lot. So we check, we can change all three. So if you can see, that's one. Okay. That electrolytic needs replacing, does it? Yeah. And it's going to be under there, so it'd be... Yeah. I think we'll take them off at that side and do the electrolytic and that, because we can get to it. Now that, is that, it's not an, is it? It is an electrolytic, yeah. I don't think I'm expecting that one. Um, so it goes between... Chassis and... Oh, it's capacitor 31. I didn't see that. It didn't matter anyway because it's 100 microfarads at 25 volts. So we can change that with stock, oh, with right. the stock part. So that's, uh, I don't know how we're going to accomplish this. Um, probably leave it in the clip, disconnect one end, 
I think the best thing to do would be that disconnect one end and then put a modern part across the other that so we'd cut that off mm. and then go between there and there with a the modern part yeah yeah so we want um, we want an electrolytic capacitor 100 microfarads at whatever we've got handy and this is going to be ridiculously small Do you want those glasses? I want some glasses, yeah. Okay. And what's that rated at? 25 volt? Yeah. Yeah, so it's the exact replacement. Mm. Yeah. So we'll come back to when he's done that and change one of those nasty wax things. I mentioned on this video that I think the whole reason this stopped working is quite simply because the dial cord snapped so that's going to be fun I did I've just printed off the uh, blow-ups of the diagram as you can see we've got the layout there and we've got the circuit and some other details so whilst we're changing that electrolytic uh, Mr Chip is just going to hit put the uh, ESR meter on it see what that says it's probably absolutely fine I was thinking about that Oh, in circuit or leaky? Oh, well, that's a good. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad we are changing that one. And this, is, this is it. They either all work or none of them do. Right, join the video in a bit further. Right, well, he's done that first capacitor. You see that bright yellow one poking out, and that replaced this one. We have tested this one. It actually works. The one that comes out. So the ele original electrolytic, which is uh, says it's short circuit or faulty, or whatever, we've kept in place. We've put a brand new one there. So it keeps the original component for people in the future. So that would have put a short across the uh, one of the high tension lines and then you end up with a mains uh, dropper resistor glowing and a knackered uh, rectifier valve. So that's where we're gonna draw this to a close. I've discovered that I need to order a dial cord for this and some smaller capacitors. Uh, we didn't realize I only ordered the ones which were a thousand volt rated and it turns out there's some others here which are 500 volt rated. The uh, silver micas should be fine, unlike America we don't seem to have silver mica disease in this country. I've never had any problems with them. So that's a start and I'll get these parts ordered. So I'll draw part one of this to a close. It'll probably be four parts to be honest. Uh, tomorrow I am going to get on with the cabinet so you never know I may be able to have something to show in a couple of days as far as the cabinet goes. Uh, we've got enough parts to, to put a few more in and then we'll, I say I'll get some ordered. So thanks for watching part one of the McMichael TT4 television table radio from 1954.